was that Rick when this came out? There we go. Tell me what you want. Y'all was listening to that shit on cassette. I was listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> I was Drew Hilling it up right there. I was like, yo, why, why can't you remember this song? Yeah. Growing Pains Podcast. What, what episode is this? This is David's job. What the fuck is he? 127, CN, David, they said, they. is that right? 127, they can't be. It has to be like, didn't I see a, a, a message of 135 or was it 125? Damn, we didn't get 25? that yet. Maybe 125. Maybe 125. Yeah, it's 127. So it's 27. Did it? No, it's 126. It no. Nah. 126. I, yep. It, it is, is 126. It's 126. What? Yeah. It is. I'm just giving us brownie points. You sure? Yeah, sure. No. <laughs> I don't is think it? so, though. No, 125 was your One got birthday. cut off with the um the 51 oh, minute mark yeah, joint. That's right. That's yeah. right. 125 was your that birthday. One. 126 was without Last cover. Week. See? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, <laughs> man. Try and fuck up no, my laugh. This is, this is David's job. He's not here. But Does Dave still have a job? Sure, can you, did you say it right? Did he say 127? Yeah, right? it was a No. He's saying Siente? feeling? No. <laughs> now you got me all messed up. Not me. I've been saying 100 for 30 weeks without a problem. <laughs> 27 weeks I've been saying 100 right up now. I'm like, Vente Sete. How are you saying 127 in Spanish? 127. Oh, I said to. A te instead of to. Yeah. Siento. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I like it. Letters Thank you. Matter. Glad you're here already. You know what I mean? <laughs> One letter can change the whole meaning. Yep. 100%. 100%. She's like, talking about your feelings? No, nigga. That's what I'm not doing. That's what I'm not doing. I'm like, no, no. I'm good. How you know? <laughs> God, he is dope. How we feeling, though, man? We're good. We, we got have, a replacement. Um, temporary stand in, no beef. Our regional love expert, Josie, back in the building. Love it. Always welcome. Always, Always. welcome. We, we appreciate you. you. know we appreciate Always when you welcome. show up. <laughs> Always welcome. Standing in for Kaba, the infamous Kaba. You still got a job? Who goes to Florida for two weeks? <laughs> Old niggas. A man that don't care about his job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got that luxury, right? Yeah. You could just drop. What does he do? Dave? Aside History. From, yo, Tommy is... <laughs> He worked for the bank. I remember that because I worked with him. <laughs> I used to see him in the cubicle. Is it right definitely... that all this shit is happening and Kaba's not around? Oh. In America? Kaba was in D.C. Usually they send agents out. He was, he was never in Florida. Kaba was in D.C. <laughs> he worked. Storming the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> he is in federal custody right now. That's what Kaba is. Fucking lied to us. He don't answer the text group yeah. chat. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. He's off the grid. Guys get, usually guys get phones in the feds. Oh, mm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody nah. slid him a burner. Kyle was locked up, man. Yo, he stormed he the Capitol. Out, That's yeah. crazy. Put on his I MAGA hat. Reem, not Kyle. I, no, I, I, see, I can 100% see Kyle, Kyle doing something. Nah, nah. I, can, I, I, see, I definitely see David doing it. Yeah, with a murder. David flag. Not, not, with no intent, <laughs> not with no intent to, like, hurt. Bold Anybody? eagle on his like, chest. I was there, yeah. Yeah, I was there. I stormed. I stormed. I stormed. Fucking and they idiots. Me. <laughs> Yo, is that true about that onion shit? I s- what about onion? Some video of her, like, she didn't really get mace. She had an onion in a towel. She was running That's what I, I didn't Oh, the one that got interviewed? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. They showed some, she had that, a blue anyway. towel in there. Yeah, she had the blue towel. Blue yeah. towel and then you can see, like, Something white in there, but you, you really can't make it's a up. revolution. <laughs> the little boy, you ever seen the little boy, the yeah. com- comedian? An- Anki boys? Yeah, something yeah. like that. The little Spanish kid? Yeah, yeah. the father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like, yeah, he's hilarious. He's, he's a master. He nailed it. Yeah. The bank yeah. one? He does them all. What are we talking about? It's, Fill me in, because I don't know what you're talking Anki, about. I think it's Social Anki media. boys, but they're, they're popping on, on TikTok, but they got a, a Twitter page. Uh, but they do those little skits on t- so the voiceovers. Did, he did the, voice the ladies. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but the boys like three. Yeah, he's cursing and everything. They're doing Friday yeah, skits. He's four. He's Friday okay. voiceovers. He's a small dude, but he nails it as yeah. far as the everything the lip sync yeah. part. He does. He crushes it. The that emotion. Shit was funny. The drama. Imagine that. I just read something about my man is getting organic fucking food. In the federal penitentiary because I've seen that too. Because his fucking, mom is complaining. Yeah, he gets sick if he doesn't name. have the organic food. I kept trying not to remember the names on purpose, bro. I'm trying to get these images out of my head. The dude that had the horns mm, with the bullshit yeah, yeah, on yeah. and all that. Yeah. He ain't ate in three days. They won't feed him organic. And he's getting it. And he's and getting he just it. got a federal judge to fucking grant him organic food. I'm like, is it milk organic? Right? There's organic milk. Yeah. Yeah. Get a nigga milk. 
I don't want them in there with no steak. I don't want them with no <laughs> organic free range chicken. You have some organic potatoes. I don't want my tax dollars going to this. Like I'm saying, potatoes. <laughs> Reeves said, not a steak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the other niggas is eating that byproduct eating chicken and, and, and chopped up sausage and the cereal bars and, and all of that. Foods, you see how much a steak costs? They got to define no. organic to me and what, what his <laughs> menu looks like. What does he need to sustain life in the organic form? And I'm thinking, yeah, it's potatoes, whipped. Baked, fried, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Organic milk, you know. Who Some veggies. Yo, six weeks of drinking straight milk. Oh, I'll be over. Oh, <laughs> we six go to weeks. The That's all he would get. Because I don't know when he's going to get to court. He's mm. just going to be in the fed pen. Just all milk. But Ugh. to the light of the law, it's organic. Yeah. The privilege is my problem. Right. How Agreed. Many, how many niggas in jail right now? Like, hey, dog. Uh, the vegan option. Yeah, right. <laughs> like... <laughs> can't do that if not they're trying to get the closest thing to it but they ain't saying let's go to court and make sure i get the healthiest yeah. vegan so my mom in there first and they're gonna i mean i guess if they shipping them commissary or some shit well how is everybody first like, how are we start oh, there right, how, how's, how's yeah. everybody doing how do we get to oh because dave was storming the capital <laughs> yes, dave, dave. Ah, that's right. i storm yeah i storm <laughs> how's everybody doing how are we doing good we jump in josie how was your weekend my weekend was good okay mm. Can't elaborate. <laughs> yeah, just was it. Um, let me it find good. out. It was good. Yeah, the look up though, <laughs> <laughs> little lip bite. It was, it was, it was good. Just spent with family and friends. The mm. usual. This is a good time. Mm-hmm. I took uh, Tron and his mom to go get a, a manicure and pedicure. It was his first pedicure and manicure. You never seen did that. that before. I seen that. Okay. So I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I don't want nobody to miss this first occasion. And my man was laid up. I mean, they put the little thing the behind his back. I've seen it. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> like this shit was hilarious. He loved it. He loved it. Walking around, look at my toes. Look at my toes. And his feet was dirty as fuck the night before. That's <laughs> that's what really what it was about. I was like, look at your feet, dog. You never do you wash your feet in the shower? Man? We're gonna get a mani patty. So we didn't did that. Good weekend. Have Good. you ever heard that there are white people who don't wash their legs? They only wash the top half of themselves? I don't well not legs. I know people that don't wash their feet though. But I ain't never what do you mean? Just get don't the wash their balls? Their feet rinse off. How do you wash everything <laughs> but your asshole? You can't do that. I'm so telling you, just you, watch, you, from the belly button up. From the belly button up, they don't wash anything lower than that. Does it? But rinse? what about? Yeah. Huh? Does it rinse? I mean, are they I, underwater? <laughs> I mean, they're, on, they're they're taking a shower. You must be talking about fucking mer people. Fish. Merman. I'm just letting you know what I heard. There are wow. different type of you know hygienic yeah you know decisions being made. There's out certain there in cultures the world. that don't wear deodorant. Yeah, right? but that doesn't mean they don't bathe. Don't wear deodorant. That's that's a tough decision, man. I just so you never wash your ass. There's certain cultures where women don't shave. What's that about? I don't know that culture. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't got a homie. You ain't got a homie. Was always like, damn, sis. Every time you got on a tank top. I think I think females typically, unless they're out getting, you know, their groove on or vitamin D. Yeah. In the in the winter. They don't shave. There's they some like, women that don't shave their yeah, legs. Yeah, Like, I don't, I'm not going to be out in the. Yeah, I'm one. Oh, so you are from the hairy culture. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really hairy, but. The bush woman. <laughs> <laughs> my legs. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 legs, legs. Oh, my legs, my legs. <laughs> nah, I should be though. There's a, I, there's a comfort in it. If you could, if I can get away with never getting haircut, or if I could take a whole season off from haircuts. I would do it. But you can. It's odd, but because when I go out, even though nobody's gonna see my legs, I'll shave them. It's like a whole. But it's because do you have the intent changes? that somebody not is intent, going to see. Not the intent. Okay. But it's just that just you never case. know. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah, right. I can get right, that. You going to the doctors? <laughs> right. That's what your mom used to say about your drawers and your ears. Make sure your drawers is clean, your ears yeah. is clean. You never know what happened to you. You get in an accident and show up at the hospital like, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> we got a shitter. <laughs> you never know. You never know. My weekend was uh, it was cool. It was with Ellie. Uh, spent money. Mm-hmm. Mm. So They go that wedding budget. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the plan was to go to the mall. Let's go to the mall. Let's go to Dave & Buster's. Yep. Dog, the line. 
Look like a club. To Dave and Buster's? Because they only let in some, certain amount of people That's in. Right. I was like, nah, we won't do that. All right, let's, let's go check the movie theater out. Went there, checking out. What can we see? It's open? Yeah. Because oh. it's last minute, so I'm like. Nah, whatever's available, that makes sense. Crude. Bet. We seen the first one. Let's go see this one. Uh, fortunately, we only have one seat available. One seat. She's sitting on my lap. It's my daughter. <laughs> like, now nah, that even looks weird. Don't you? <laughs> no, no, it, it's true. I know it's true. But somebody's going to look at you like. <laughs> <laughs> we got a creeper. <laughs> that's that shit. That's like, like, the whole theater just get up and look at you. you yeah, I know. I could definitely see that, though. Like, uh, yo, man. what the fuck? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> it's my daughter. It's okay. Yeah, it's just yeah, my daughter. Sure, tell him. Pal. Tell him yeah. I'm your dad. Tell him yeah. I'm your daddy. And it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> yeah, she, your daddy, all right. Oh um, no. And then because of that, went to the stores. Oh damn! That wasn't no other movies. <laughs> <laughs> was it, it was nothing. Everything else was like rated R, and it was like uh, some of the movies because you know HBO Max got like so a lot of those movies. I was like, damn, I've seen these already. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, and so we went. End up going H and M. Oh, close, close. You got to pay for HBO Max. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a separate. Or thing. just have a good friend. Not me. Mm. Share that password, dog. <laughs> 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 Not me. Or fire stick. Yeah, or fire stick. I work yeah. with that shit. But um, yeah, and so <clears throat> it's like, all right, fine. How long is this trip? What's this excursion like? I don't really shop Literally with Megatron at all. Just because we wasn't going to go. Dave and Buster didn't happen. The movies didn't happen. We was in the mall maybe all of 45 minutes. Oh, all right. Good. That sounds like a good trip to me. I hate being in the fucking mall. Oh, I hate it. But no, it was supposed to be longer because we were supposed to be in Dave and Buster's. And then he the wanted to movies. spend a day. Yeah, yeah, he wanted to have a day. But I, I think I, I, I asked, obviously spent more money in that 45 minutes than I would if I had went to Dave and Buster's or the movies. I don't know. Dave Buster's be hitting, bro. No. No, I give Trust up. Me. Every time I've gone, I've never spent more than $20 at Dave Buster's. What? Buses. And I have two boys. I had a $40. But you got sharing one meal and one meal? <laughs> <laughs> hey, just one meal. You didn't hear her? <laughs> she said I'm frugal. <laughs> yeah. Yo, she no, did say that. What Y'all I'm just saying here for it. Not, just... for the <laughs> not for the meal. We won't eat there. I mean, unless oh. we were hungry. We would just go purposely for the video games. I... And I would have a card. There's no way. Have a coupon. There's no way. It already has stuff on it? Yeah. Okay. So I get it. But yeah, no. I, so my limit was gonna be forty, forty dollars. Big spender. And then we'll all the games you want. Because <laughs> I think you'll be in there playing, yeah. <laughs> sitting at the hoop. Spent twenty three dollars on it. <laughs> you take him more than yeah. I'm working out. Uh, I love yeah. it. So you didn't get to do that. What was H and M like? Like was it like? It was sales, but when when it's sales, you feel like you gotta spend more than. The... Oh yeah, it's only. Are you guys um used to seeing people with masks now? Yeah. Yeah. I'm uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where's everyone? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like it. Now, um, it's getting weird because I'm noticing people now, like, just by the eyes. Right. Mm. You know what I mean? It, well, it's probably body stature and all of that, too, but I can look people in the face now. I'm like, oh, I know that name. <laughs> can, you, can you tell if a, if, a, if a woman's pretty by just looking at her eyes? Like, from this up? No. That's a good question. No. You can't. I mean, not not accurately. I don't think I could. Okay, not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying accurately, but you know. Look, man, there's a lot of fucking makeup tutorials out there right now. <laughs> These women are doing amazing shit with their eyes. Hella filters, bro. right? Yeah. And then take the mask off. Ray Charles just, figured it out. Just touch your wrist. I mean, it wasn't gonna matter to him anyway. Right? <laughs> he was gonna see whatever he thought of. <laughs> but but um, yeah, I don't think I'm that good at it. I'm just trying to. Recognize people that I know I can't determine whether or not they got the. Because it's like. Is that, is the mouth is such an important part of the nah, face. And her. the nose? Okay, I can see that. I think that's. No, it's not her. <laughs> you store you? like that. It's like, is that real? No, that's not real. Can and you, can you like, hey, mom, what up? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> like, legit. I don't think you can. I mean, to some degree, because then you don't know what's underneath that mask. Somebody might be like, hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just take the whole mask off. <laughs> three three teeth up. right here on the side. Pull missing. it back up. Pull it back up. Mm. Pull it back up. You're letting COVID out. Pull you it was back the up. one for a minute. You, you was COVID the one. You let COVID, COVID out. out. <laughs> Close your lips. <laughs> I wouldn't even take that risk. I'd just ask for the, the six feet. Like, uh, ma'am. Hi, my name is Bayon Kareem Boston. And if it's possible, I'd like to get to know you. I'm going to take six feet back and 
Ask that you remove your mask. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. You think it's gonna work? I'm gonna get maced. <laughs> I'm gonna get, what? Take my mask off. And you're maced, bro. If somebody approached you like that, would you be offended that they said I'm gonna take six feet back? I'm gonna go six feet back. No. Uh, I'm on the aisle. Hug. I'd rather that than because I don't know you. Hey. You know how it used to be, right? Oh, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Back, Rona on the neck. <laughs> it might be more respectful now. Like, forcibly. By punishable, by arrest, right? Like, you can't just be, hey, right. you're invading my six feet now. I'll yeah, call the cops. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I'm definitely, uh, I can't take that risk of just dies. Unless it's a crazy look. You know, life changing. A moment changing look. You know what I mean? Like, God damn, she's looking at me. Like, I feel like she just bought me a drink with her eyes. If that happened, I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't know what if we're going to be able to do that. funky breath? Christmas for them. This is out in the shot. But you got to smell that. Who? The funky breath people. Oh, you're saying after oh, they I take smell that shit all the time. I've never smelled my breath before until I have started to have to wear a mask. It's like, God damn. Now I know I have. <laughs> you got funky breath. Halitosis. <laughs> this, this, this truth in them is so heavy for me right now. Like, just. Does you think maybe increase brushes a day? <laughs> or like, is, it, is there anything we could do about only, this? Stop it. I'm not the only one. No, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. There's that song. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. You say going to do this to me again. I'm not going to be me too on this one. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. Mm. I'm going to no. pass. Well, I mean, I can do that too and I won't smell it. But the, the mask, you could, like, mm. it stays there. Damn. Dragon. <laughs> 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 just, to, just one more minute, bro. I'm not, just one more I'm not, minute. Maybe, maybe try applying a charcoal application first, and then the toothpaste. Just, just, no, just no, carry no. around mouthwash. Some some floss. Mm. It's probably old food stuck in. Okay. I floss. Floss matters. I floss. I floss every night. Do Thank you have you. You got food from Monday in there? In the this guy's eating okra. <laughs> <laughs> just leaving it in his mouth though <laughs> It's coming out the wrong way He got, mo- he got okra from Monday in his mouth Oh okra breath ass <laughs> Like don't do it I would just yeah I would just increase the brushes bro It's enough <laughs> well, What's the next topic I mean, Let's get to the topic <laughs> oh, We didn't you, hear about, about your weekend, weekend. Yeah. I do shit I do shit I lay low That's what I do It's my weekend then you got more time for more brushes. <laughs> you can kill it on the weekend, get six good. in a day. Buffalo Bills won their first that I did game watch. in 25 Big job. That I did watch. Big job. Yes, sir. Big job. Good yes, weekend sir. of football. I cut huh? out a practice early for that. I said, listen, fellas. The Colts? Yep. Yeah, the Colts. yeah, yeah. Which it was no easy game. Colts they started to good. come back on you guys a little bit, huh? Yeah. yeah. I didn't think it would be. Josh, Josh Allen Colts. almost did it again. Oh. Yeah, he hasn't done one of those since last season. Look, he's still crucial fumble, man. Crucial fumble. It's the best you guys got for a really long time. That guy's fire. Josh Allen, quarterback for the Bills. He's still, he's still not getting no respect on these on the on the tabloid on the shows on the sports shows. What's the name? What's the name? Rocks with him. Uh, wide receiver used to play for the Jets. Uh, Keyshawn Johnson calls him calls himself the Beast. He got the uh, dreads. Damn, he's on first things first. Black wide receiver. I don't watch that much of him anymore. Oh. Skip Bayless like turned me <clears> off the uh, <sighs> sports I news. I don't do Skip Bayless or him Stephen and, A. Him Smith. And, him and Shannon, like it's 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 Cowboys, Spurs, and LeBron. That's what it was with him and Stephen A. That's why I don't. It's the same shit. Oh, Brandon Brandon Marshall. Oh, Brandon yeah. Marshall. Okay. Brandon Marshall. All right. Yep. <clears throat> so Bayless. I know you and I were talking about the topic of love. Do you guys find love to be a feeling or an act? Or both, and how do you decipher, like, which one to use on whatever relationship you're in? One way to dead that conversation. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, right. My brain is all thinking about that question now. I'm like, Cause all three of us is like, let's see. And you know what? I didn't I'm see. For I that. didn't see. Yeah, I'm not mad. I, was, <laughs> like, I don't I was, know who the fuck Josh yeah. Allen is, bro. I was like, just reading body language. I'm sorry. I feel like he was a little on your own. He was ready to move on. To go back on topic, and then Reem was like, "Yeah, whatever." Well, because he didn't talk about his weekend. <laughs> just like, Yo, we wanted to talk about his weekend, um, and then that's how the Bills came up. Yeah, in football. But he reminded him that he enjoyed the Bills game. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and he had plenty of time to scrub. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga gonna stop like washing it. under his like waist. It. 
So what was the question again? Repeat that. That was a uh, got heavy quick. <laughs> <laughs> got in depth. I'm ready no, to go. I'm saying, I love I mean, a feeling. Some people, that wasn't you, even the question that we had planned. I don't know what the question is. Why don't you recite the question? Then? How important is love? How important is it? It's important. <laughs> Apparently not to our viewers. Yes. It was like 67% when I clicked it. I hit no purposely. So the viewers viewers said 67% no, 30% Oh, I said yes, said then. Yes. I must say yes, then. Yes. But there's so much that is writing on it. So, I mean, love is, depends on how you guys see it. And maybe one person that's clicking yes or no could be thinking about a partnership, could be thinking about a relationship that has nothing to do with love like so there's well, so also, many well, also the, the the numbers right you know don't always tell the whole story because they couldn't elaborate on right. why they picked no so they might be believe it is important but it's not the most important um, um what's more important important than love in a relationship communication i think love is the most overrated yeah you, ha- you have to communicate you love somebody human emotion you have to say it. and action do i yeah <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Well, there are many ways to say it. Yeah, I agree. And it doesn't you're, require you're, you're verbalizing. So if I be... never say it, if some person never say it, says it, you can tell by just do the actions? Absolutely. You don't think you I can? Take, I take Without that. Without ever saying it. Uh, ever? If the opposite exists, then I think it's true, right? If, if I always tell you I love you, but I don't act like it, well, is that Well, to her love? question, I believe, I believe both. <laughs> I think you need both. I think, for me anyway, it's a feeling and it, it's an act. Cause just because you so what so what what's in an act, action in response to a feeling? What's it? What's an action that That's proves somebody? So have you had somebody tell you that they never said that they loved you, but showed that they loved you more? Yes. So they never said it at all. I mean, maybe <clears throat> randomly but here and there, it. but they did. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Never say it, or just always act. I would take always act if there was a always act, or to, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear it if mm. your actions are not, you know. My man Mintz has never told me he loves me. Like we're like roommates from college to, you know, just like twenty five year friends. And I just fuck with him now, and I'm just like, I love you, Mintz. He's like, all right, well, goodbye. <laughs> like, that, like he just wraps it up. He yeah. never says, but no, he does. He's been shit. My He's... grandmother too. So did it take time to tell that, or did it take an action to tell that? What to, that he loved? For, for you to feel that he loved. That, oh, just rock, man. Fucking roommates live together. College mm-hmm. football memories and. <clears throat> he's he stand up. See, that's my problem with. I don't have a problem with love, but the overuse of it is. The he overuse have, of the word. Yeah, or? the the word, the the idea of it, its place amongst all human emotion. This one is like, if it was a pie chart, love would be like this big in human emotion meaningfulness. Mm-hmm. But there's this this other shit. It's consideration is you know. Um, but I think love is huge too. I'm not knocking it because I feel communication is important. Mm-hmm. Communication but, doesn't happen if I don't love you. I don't understand how you guys are saying anything else is bigger than love. So we're talking about. So am I am I misunderstanding something? Here? So I, I, the, the the question is broad and vague for a reason yep. because some people can automatically go to an intimate relationship with somebody, mm-hmm. right? Then people can go into friendships. People can go into like so one of hobbies. The, so one person said, business. I don't got to love you to be a business partner of yours. And they got to communicate. I love the business. <clears throat> don't mean I love you. Okay. All right. So you, all right, got it. So, so let me, I'm trying to understand the question again. Is it is, is love important or like what kind of love is how important, important is or love? how important is the, love? I, like you just said, it depends on the relationship. Right. So let's get into a few ex- uh, examples. Like, uh, let's pick a, Dynamic. Mm. Uh, Come on, loveologist. Hit us with a dynamic. Yeah. I don't know. It could be like any of the ones he mentioned. <clears throat> but if if we want to stay on the relationship, the you know topic of love, mm. we can do that one first. Mm. Okay. For me, it, I think it sets the precedent, right? For me, I think it's set at some point, right? I love you. I love you too. But I don't think that's what keeps a relationship together. But you're assuming <clears throat> that saying I love you is what makes love important. No, what I'm saying is it, it sets that tone of, all right, you said it, now show me. Because love, you saying, right, like we, it's you saying it doesn't mean that it, it, it's true. 
right? But even if you show me acts of love, mm -hmm. that still doesn't mean the relationship is going to work out because there's other things that need to happen. Mm. Right. So if you just if you just buy me things and you what, give me hugs what needs to happen? Communication, right? But if you're holding <clears throat> a relationship with acts, you're communicating to some degree. But there's other types of communication that need. If you we walk around just showing each other stuff and never say a word to each other, relationship ain't lasting. Oh no. Right. So you right. need to you need to communicate. If I'm having a bad day, I need to communicate that to you, or I'm just gonna be pissed off at you because you did something, and you're like, why? Because you pissed me off. But if I don't communicate, I'm having a bad day. You won't know. So I think there's things that I think dependability. Right. Like, no. So, yeah, I was going to. Right. Like empathy. Mm. Right. Like understanding of things. Compromising. I think there's other things in relationships that need to take place. Because you we was talking about it before the podcast. You see marriages fail over finances. Love doesn't matter anymore. We left. We broke up. We got a divorce because of finances. I love you. Money was fucked up. So love wasn't that important. The finances became more important than love. Right. I loved you, but couldn't make it work. <laughs> the numbers just never yeah. added up. <laughs> right. no. But we're saying, we're assuming that they loved each other. We don't know. It didn't work because something. Well, I'm just I'm throwing an example out, out there. Yeah, we know marriages can be arranged. Marriages can be business propositions as well. Um, I just think when you do things out of love, act and everything else will fall into place. Because when you do things out of love, you communicate. Because you know, you understand that if I do this with love, it just automatically falls. Well, again, I just think it's it's one emotion and not every one of my actions is going to communicate love. Right. And that's part of my existence, my growth, my um, imperfection. Right? So when that love isn't present, then what are these other emotions that... But love doesn't have to, you're saying love has to be, or look good, or happy, or look in whatever way. Love is bad? No, but love is, you're you able it, to, you said no, it he's to saying it, yeah. he's saying it that he's, he has imperfections, and he's going to walk into a situation where he's not able to show mm -hmm. what you might perceive as love. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I could perceive it as love still because he's not feeling some kind of way, but because he has love for that person... He's going to be like, look, I'm not in the mood right now. And then depending on who he's with can be, you know, mindful of that and, and have respect for him mm -hmm. and see it in a loving fashion. So then that way he has the space to diffuse or work things out in whatever manner that he wants to do it. Which would then lead me to understanding, right? Because now that has to be present for, in that particular scenario where it's like, you know that I'm not leading with love, but you'll understand that, you know, Eat a Snickers, <laughs> you know what I mean? like, like like one of them situations. Well, calm down, man. Yeah, right, have a sneak. Yeah. But I, I mean, I guess I, I need to understand the like more the question: What is love important to like to what like to your I mean, relationship we, we with your brother? There. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's talk about that. Like you said, we started out with the relationship <laughs> side, right? Love is ever present in in healthy relationships of relationships of any kind relationship father to son mm -hmm. um friend to friend for your work yeah. let's pick an example of if love is important to you in this particular dynamic right so we'll move on to brother to, you don't have a brother you have a brother no you don't have a brother you got a brother no? yeah. yeah i do you got a brother i got a brother four Nah, nah, we want you involved. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 we want you involved. I got somebody to call right. my brother, but you know. So let's go friend to friend, right? right? What is important? Like, what aspect of love is important in a friendship? I, I'm just trying to understand more about it. Like, what makes a friend like your friend? Like, this is my ride or die. Mm. Yeah, this is. I love this person. I'll do anything for you. Mm. Bobby yeah, Schmurter, take more years. Well, I'm not gonna do anything for you, but. There's conditions. <laughs> oh, I think it's, for, there's me, conditions. It's, for me, it's changed as I've gotten older. Mm. As a kid, I think I think you have, you know, I see people fall into this this, oh, being honest, being tr being a ride or die, being trustworthy, um, being loyal. Right? I see, mm. you know, people use that word loyalty a lot. Um, but something I you know I learned from one of my mentors is that. You need more accountability partners. You need people that are going to hold you accountable. 
right? And I consider those people friends, right? They're going to say, nah, dog. That's wrong. <laughs> You're out of line. Right. right? When I think when being younger, you would have your friends, ah, oh, fuck it. Go ahead, do it. Like, do that shit, do that yeah, shit. Yeah, right? It's like, and so I think. You can win. People who are going to tell me the truth even if I don't want to hear it. Mm. That's definitely important. Don't want yes, man. <clears throat> right. Mm, all the time. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, you know, <laughs> why you tell me no, dog? I'll take a little pat on the back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not, yeah. That's a yes, man part. I, I want the accountability. Anybody right. that catch me slipping, help me. But nah, what I just did was fire, dog. Tell me that was fire. <laughs> he was like, yo, man. I, I did that shit. I did that shit, you. I did that shit, man. But, Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I think for me that's that's one of that's one of the things. Because if you love if you love me, you would do you would want for me to have the best or make the best decisions. It's that word love that's bothering me again. It's like why is everything equal? Well, I thought you. I thought I, no, it's not you. It's yeah. in my brain right now. Mm-hmm. You said accountability. Right. Why can't accountability be accountability? Okay. Why does it have yeah. to be? Love. It's accountability. So before we move on, can you share with me something that affected you as a child that you felt as though love was bad or wasn't to be no, heard? No, no, I'm all I've been loved my whole life. I'm not saying you weren't. Yeah, no. I didn't say that um, that was the case. Mm. I don't think Reem said love was bad. He doesn't like the sound of it. Mm. No, She's no, no. Getting him. It's not mm. that I don't like the sound of it. It does you wrong, you said. Well, love can do everybody wrong, right? The, your biggest hurts in life are related to love. It's because, because you're you, going in, all in. How can you grow if you don't love to the fullest? Because there are so many other things that I'm going to do, and love will be involved and included. But I just, why is everything equate? It's like a web to one dot. Everything that's positive in the world has to equal love. What, why, why what do you want it? your dot to be? Hmm. Ring, but no. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the truth. I want every emotion in the world to meet at me and learn how to understand them and, like, and take them for what they are. Love is important, and I think leading with it is very important. Right. It's necessary in any relationship. But when we equate every other emotion to being loved, then I'm just like, well... Doesn't it take away from what the other thing is, like the accountability part, mm-hmm. you know, the respect factor? The I don't think it would take it away. It just enhances it. I think. Mm. I guess it's nice. They sell it in movies all the time. <laughs> I mean, I think, cause, so thinking about like a career path, right? I love the Institute. I love the work that I do at the Institute. I love the fact that I've been afforded to serve my community. Uh, in the capacity that the Institute has allowed me to do so. But there is always a but, right? Because if I'm trying to grow and the Institute can no longer help me grow in that manner, I have to part ways. Mm-hmm. So is it love or is it do you enjoy? But you're, you're saying that's love an and agreement. a feeling that's, sense. That's, that's respect and an agreement right there. Yeah. There's, there's no love involved in that. It's a great position. Right. Right, I can leave it at that point. I, mm-hmm. I, I don't just say oh, I love the position. Me, no, 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 I say love. But... Oh, you make me lose my train of thought. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a couple <laughs> but what were you saying about you can love a position, right? And when you say, when you part ways with them, you still love them, or at least you maybe love the experience or some aspect of it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> like I can say, I enjoyed it. It was a great experience. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Yeah. You yeah, enjoyed also, it. I think every interaction, like like one of our f- followers said, not every relationship needs love. Right. Agreed. Is it just as valued as a relationship with love? No, right? Because love enhances it. But I can have a great relationship that does not involve I can involve have a great love. business relationship with somebody without having to love them. But you have to love something I to love have the that. business. Right. I don't love you, per se, as the business partner. But deep down inside, you might because you're you got into the partnership, because there's some qualities in that partner that you feel we have a common can agreement, grow. right? Right, is the money, right? That's but it. you can't just go in with anybody, because yeah, then that won't no. You if, can't. The, if the numbers, I if the if numbers, numbers match up, then how does that work out? <laughs> right, how do you think that works out? No, I don't know. 
I've never done it, but you, you, always, you think I love my real estate agent? <laughs> right. Like he's a great guy. He's <laughs> very effective at his job. I do business with him all the time I for do other business, reasons. I do business with banks. It's very trustworthy. Okay. All right. right. But, because they're insured. <laughs> right, but it's a relationship, right? And so you don't necessarily love the the individual. There's just a common common agreement. There's always there's the same. But, but this, best friends and money lost them both. They they say don't do business with your with your friends because I oh, can't wait. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rolling down the highway. Fifty one percent because maybe love interferes. But you're looking at it as a feeling. That's why it interferes. But it is a feeling. It can be. Yeah. When you look at it as a feeling. Mm. Right. That's how I look at it. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, that's not the I, only I, way I said to look both. at it. I said, I, but I believe in both. that's probably why Reem feels a certain way because he feels that love has to be like a feeling like I love you. or You never felt you know? love? I, I'm not saying I didn't feel oh, love. So it is I a love. Feeling. So it's a feeling. It is a feeling, oh, okay. but I'm just saying it's not only a feeling. Right. That's what love it. in itself is an action word. Mm-hmm. Damn. So love gets all of the positive feelings and love gets <laughs> All of the positive what action words. I'm not giving love that much credit. <laughs> love gets everything. Yeah. There's no dependability. That, nah, that, right. that, that's love. No, it's not. It's dependability. What about religion? Are people in love with religion? The ideal of it, I guess. The entertainment of it. Or they just believe in it. But do you, then there are actions related to that, though. You have to go to church. You know, you have to pray. You have to Does, and demonstrate that. Now that we're love. saying every action is, like, to your point. Attaches to that web, to that word of love. Yeah, that's what we do. I, I, Not every action, though. If I smack the shit out of you, you know, you know. You could do something out of love. You could smack the shit what out of What about somebody. domestic violence relationships? Oh, this is dangerous. Nah, you hear women. You hear women say, he loves me. That's why he does that to me. Ah, she's wilding. Yeah, she's... She- she's wilding. It's not that she's, she's wilding. wilding. She's not wilding. <laughs> now you're now you've, you've victimizing the victim. Yeah. How am I victimizing? You tell yeah, she's she, wilding. She's, she, yeah, she's not wilding. If she could get out of there, she would. But she No, that's understand. not what I was saying. She might believe I'm, it. She might honestly believe that. Yeah. Because he believes that he feels he's in love. And this is the way he showed up. Right. No, I don't think so. I think the, the, the one that's actually being the, the offender, should I say, right, yeah. is actually manipulating them no no i I get over the long term but like you hear about crimes of passion Mm -hmm. where just one snap and if you look up love under love passion is under there according to my philosophy every positive (laughs) word is under love like it's probably four pages long (laughs) in the dictionary love definition the act of passion right it's a crime of passion that was an act Right, and that can just happen immediately. And right. up until that point, it was all love, 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 love. But in that one moment, mm-hmm. and that's the action part that she's talking about, I guess, right? Where it's not it's not an act of love. It's an act of aggression. But you wouldn't equate that act of aggression at all to, like, love when it could have just been random, spontaneous, and love would have been present the whole time until that accidental moment. But you wouldn't equate that to, like, like passion the love part mm. no but if it was like oh he bought her a wedding ring he loves her like the right. positive aspects loves mm-hmm. get but the other one we'll just call it an act of aggression we wouldn't call it an act of love even though it could have really been if you kill for your son mm. it's an act people, of love a lot of people pro- not a lot I want to say all people but a lot of people would agree right like I murdered that dude because he tried to kill my son he loves him he loves his son That's... he's willing to give his life up for his son is that unconditional love in that in that relationship, yes. That one Does it exist outside of that relationship? My mother. I got. Can it exist outside? Can it be with a friend, unconditional? Yeah. Josie thinks friends. so. I got friends. Unconditionally. I mean, like like you, can't, like you can't spit on my mother and you can't try to kill so my it's son. Not, so there's conditions. Ah, uh, there's conditions. <laughs> <laughs> there are that conditions. Was my point to you. Yeah. There is no such thing as so, love unconditional. To, to play devil's advocate, right? Depending on the person. Some people could say, you know what? I still love him. Just don't fuck with him no more. He disrespected my mom. He don't love him because there's no there's no act of it now. That's, that's How do you different. support this love? Assuming that love has to only be shown through action. Oh, because it's just a feeling. 
And what's the feeling then? A thought that we tell ourselves? I just feel like um, love actually is more like prevalent when you're not even present. When you're not even acting. It actually grows more. So it's a feeling. In that case, yes. When, when you mean when you're not acting. I so a situation. I, I didn't even get that bar. Like, so a situation. Break that down for me. So yeah. I try to vision that. So say you're home alone. Your significant other is out. Or is on vacation. You're just sitting at home. Is that what you're talking? Like, the person is not present for you at the moment. And you're just going through your thoughts. It's not about going through your thoughts. It should. It just because you have a level of respect for each other that it just grows. Because then the further or the more time separated, you know, you have all that love kind of built up. For the time you meet again, but it's not love. It's respect that's been built up. It's respect that's you been built that up, person. but then you have an act of love when he returns. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, that's it. Oh, that's why love is a shit because we've equated it to the sex part too. I didn't they say make, sex, but yeah, they make love. You know, we don't mm. say procreate anymore. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and now everything good is attached to the word love. Awesome. I I heard the respect factor, like you said. I'm loving, you're saying I'm loving you. But you don't give even, respect even to anyone not. unless you love them. No. I, I respect a lot of people. I respect I human love. beings in general. Yeah. I have a respect for human beings. Because you have a love for you. Mm. When you can love yourself, your love just mm. ex- kind of like, uh. just seeps through everyone. I could just, <laughs> God, I could just be polite. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was smooth and all, but like... <laughs> I just be polite. Like, I, I believe in nonviolence, and in order to accomplish that, I need respect. I don't need love right. for this person. I don't. Yeah, that's no fucking. On me. But, but we did. But from this conversation, it's 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 not the top thing. It seems like because you said communication. I say communication is up there, but love too. You can't really communicate unless you have a love for yourself. Like at the end of the day, it just begins with you. You can't love anyone unless you love yourself. So the moment you start loving yourself, accepting who you are and, and how you are, then everything you do is out of love. It doesn't have to be a relationship, which just could be a stranger on the street. I don't, think you, have to, I don't think you have to love somebody to communicate. You said it all starts with you. What if I don't love myself, but right. I love someone else? And that happens. There's, there's, you're really not really loving someone else if you're not loving you. There's issues there. So look at the conditions on this love. Right, because <laughs> all this, I, I know people that, all of that, that have a problem, like they have self-esteem issues, but they have kids and they love their kids. And they show that love through kindness acts, through hugs, right? They appreciate their kids. So it's possible. I don't know. You give me an example of someone who has issues with self-esteem. Mm-hmm. Really giving them. I don't want to give names. No, but I, I I've seen it. Nah, drop a name. No. no. Not, oh my not, gosh. No, 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 no. no. but I've seen it. Sensitive joke, guys. Relax. I've it was a good one. I've seen it with my own two eyes. And so yeah. it it because everything is situational and everything's not going to be perfect and things are going to happen. So uh, posing that question is like, I believe it is important. I just don't think it's the only thing. No, it's not. Right. Why are we talking about love today? What's going on? Everybody okay? Martin Luther King. Impeachment love. day. Mm. What's wrong with love? Can't talk about love? No, no I'm Something just asking. Something got to be wrong. I'm asking. Chelsea's in the business. Or <laughs> That's right. Love right. expert, right? We're supposed to get into this. You're right. You would think as the love expert that you're giving me that title that I would be in a loving, loving like relationship mm. with a mutual loving partner. Mm. Why? If you love yourself. Damn. I do. I so you don't need nobody else to is. love you. You love you first. No, I think we need you human touch. Need it? We do. Yes. We thrive on it. Okay. There are studies out there that human show... Human touch doesn't mean love, though, does it? No. Nope. You want, you want, always, some, you want somebody yeah. to love you to touch you. I don't How many people fall out of love for <laughs> bad touching? So you're just going to take touches from anybody? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. Oh, okay. I'm just saying that humans yeah. need touch. Yeah. Right around the time you shave your legs. That's when, that's when that human touch. Yeah, go ahead. Feel that, boy. Um, feel how smooth that is. Yeah. yeah. Right around yeah. the time you shave. I feel like uh, this love needs some touching. 
No, we don't have to stay here long, but how important is sex in a relationship? For me? Top Porter. five dead or alive. Top five dead or alive. Yeah. I'm dead or alive. Communication, love, sex, sex. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's your dialogue? That's your dialogue? Is that your one, two, three? <laughs> I love it. Well, yeah, it's hella important. You know what I mean? Um, again. It is the important. The act of demonstrating love. <laughs> you got to put in that work. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile. It's more like Pilates than it is love. <laughs> Pilates. Get my head in. Oh, man. Good job, guys. Where we at? What we got next? We done? We done with love? Should we just talk about the love that the House of Representatives gave my man Donald Trump today? Mm. Second impeachment. Four years. It ain't gonna do shit. Two times. But I like the stain on it. Like, no, they had to do it because they had to show... Yeah, we're going to hold you accountable for your actions. Boy. He loves this. That's what I, I'm it's telling people. Page and people were like, no, he can't love it. I said, yes, he does. He, he, he made it. history. He's making history. He's continuing to make history since the day one he got into office. Yo. The is, first one in the history of presidencies. Is he still presidencies. banned from Twitter? Or? Yeah, you're bad. Now, that's an no, important no, no. question. No, he was tweeting. No. No, I can't no he got banned... Mark Zuckerberg only owns Facebook and IG. Right. <clears throat> That's it. He don't own Twitter. Somebody well, else owns Twitter. Twitter. He tweeted, bro. No way. A couple Man's days funny. ago, he tweeted. Unless they they they, oh, they went back a couple days ago. Yeah. But the day they said he was gonna get banned, he was tweeting. Getting them last joints out. Yeah. He got a burner account. For sure. Hundred <laughs> percent. For sure. It Probably got, got several of them. It don't got the same energy though. No. No. But because that is a very important question. About censorship, should he be banned? Forever, hundred percent. Forever? Yeah, that ban. He's banned forever. Hundred percent, bro. So they stormed the Capitol. I hear you. Where does it stop? Where where, where does what stop? Where censorship. Did- so if if you can ban what we call the most powerful person in the world, the president of the United States. No, he is. We don't call it. <laughs> I, you you call it that? I don't I don't say that. But where does that end? So you're saying know, nobody's I, off limits? Nobody's off limits at this point. Yeah, and, and now, I like that. <clears throat> that that says something. But no accountability. But, na- but now you're giving these tech companies the power, power that they already have. Right. Exactly, which is already a problem. Okay. So now you're already in bed with. No, we. We freely sign up for these. We don't agree. We don't have to be on them. I agree with you. So they can, if they want to. I agree with you. You're gone. But is that censorship though? There's other ways. There's media. There's journalism. I'm just saying. If any of us can, if a dude was on Twitter teaching people how to make like atomic bombs, I hear you. Would you want them to let him keep his account? No, but you're also you're also forgetting this guy set that, off a bomb. But you're also forgetting <laughs> how powerful social media is and how we are all social creatures, right? Yep. This is why social media is the way that it is. It's big. Mm-hmm. So now you're You know there was a time before social media. I understand that. You lived in it. I understand that. But okay. that's not that time anymore. We're not there anymore. You just you don't see where the, the the avalanche ends, right? If if they can do it to the president, then they already do it to us. Absolutely. So I ain't worried about it. I'm glad he did but his, his ass. You see it well, happen. Like if I mean? post if I post a video with with other people's music, they block it. Okay. Now if I set up a shop where I was making millions of dollars posting other people's music. Uh, they kick my ass off. Like, you can't do this, bro. Why, why do, why yeah, do, you, think, my, why do yeah. you think people, when they post videos, I don't own the rights to this music? I understand that. I got that. Glad it happened in his ass. Bro, that shit was crazy. I agree with you. White people screaming. <laughs> but his ego, his ego is yes. like, I did what I wanted while I was there. Nobody could stop me. Nah, straight. Say hello to the bad guy. <laughs> like, yo, like, he I think great. he loves that, that fact that his um, ego and that the privilege to do. You know. Do you know what happens? I said know, I was going to go for president and I was going to get elected and I got elected. Do you know what happens to somebody who gets banned for talking what they believe? 
and you ban them from something, mm-hmm. they find somewhere else where their beliefs get stronger because now they're being... They got ammo. Now, now you're telling they're me, They're persecuting hey, me. Yes, exactly. So now you're going to go into um, another realm where now you're surrounded by the people who think like you. So now you become more entrenched into this belief. Right. That's dangerous. Well, you were going to do that on the on the social media, though, and we didn't want you to do it there. Right. Okay. Uh, um, I feel you. We this can't, con- we can't crazy, control we can't. I know, and, what other and people I, believe. You know what I mean? Like, we can't control the fact if he decides to go on and start a cult, he could absolutely, he could, well, he could do that. He's already he's damn near there. And I mean, I, I agree with you with the, I think he probably should be banned, right? But I also think there should be a limit, right? And I also think, and I'm also with you with the idea that it is a private corporation they're there to make money that is that is what they do so Mm -hmm. they have that right but with the internet becoming what it is and being it's a necessity at this point do you not agree with that oh yeah 100 percent. i I don't know the last time i went on map quest (laughs) (laughs) printing some paper out (laughs) fucking love the internet i'm just saying it might be we might be setting up a a very dangerous dangerous road ahead i don't know man I, the only thing I fear about that is convenience. Like this is just making things a lot more convenient, so don't, people don't mind the censorship. But the more convenient we get, the more lackadaisical we'll be, or used to the convenience. Remember when you sat to remember everybody's phone number? Right. Mm. Can't do that shit no more. You couldn't do that without the internet. They could do whatever the fuck they want as long as they keep giving me everybody's birthdays, the, the phone number, and I know my content's fine. Just human interaction in general. Black hole. Right. Like this guy started a like riot, I, I don't necessarily have to go to my mom's house to talk to her, right? Like, or see her, Facetime. Love that thing. <laughs> At the same time, his ass is off. I hope he never comes back, but he will. He's gonna start his own. He's gonna do what you said. He's gonna get off the Twitter, and he's gonna get the money to buy a network. He's gonna buy a network or some obscure cable channel and spew that shit all day. Mm-hmm. Or a podcast. Nah, he's too big for that. When you talk about I'm two time impeached president, baby. True. <laughs> yeah, you know, I need a whole station. I can't. And people are like, yo, he's mad. I'm like, he's not mad. He's mad. He might be. He might he's mad. He's mad at the you know, people that turned on him. But <laughs> I, I don't think he's like big mad, like, god damn it. He's tight. I think he's super tight. Okay, I'm out. Um and I'm happy every day he wakes up and stresses out about this shit. Ooh. Love it. One last ditch. Fuck that mm. guy. Back to love. Back to love. <laughs> so, Bub made a point earlier today about a word that he used to describe love. Or one thing about love. Like, what was it? It was like, you told me it expires. Right. Right. How does that happen? Well, in the sense of that... I agree, by the way. Um, so, my, my thought is, I think love could be the beginning of a relationship, right? Whether it's shown through action or failing. Mm -hmm. But I think other things start to supersede love. I think that comes to a point, it's like love isn't enough to keep us together. Mm -hmm. There needs to be some other things in line because people have wants, right? So whether a woman's like, I want to buy a new house. I want to have a car. I want to have three kids by this date. So people start to add stipulations. Right. And I think as much as love is there and the act is shown, if you don't give that person what they what they need, they walk away. I lo- like the I love you, but you didn't do this for me. So in order to say I, I guess maintain level and not allow it to expire. Mm-hmm. I have to always meet the needs and the wants or the ex or the expectation of the other person. No. <laughs> I think you would have to communicate. That's why communicate is up there. But you said if you don't get me what I need and I needed this particular but, thing. But I think it's just because they're laid out. Mm-hmm. They're not addressed. So time just goes by. The timeline is met or not met. And then it just is more dormant. The communication gets further and further, like withdrawn. 
Mm. So it's like, unless you communicate, hey, you know, I understand that that's what you're looking for, but where I'm, where I'm at and where I want to be is not, it doesn't mean like you have to be honest, mm. you know, and at some point and say, you know, maybe this is not going to work out for us. Maybe a second or third child is no good. You mm. know, I'm okay with the one or I'm okay with the two. Like, you know what I mean? And that for me, that's where love is not enough. Right, because if it's if it's all about love, then let's 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 work this out. Where's the work? Well, you got to communicate what the work's going to look like. So, what is that counseling? What is what? Is, yeah, I mean, whatever whatever it may be, I think love is not the only thing that holds a relationship together. There are going to be loveless moments uh, in every relationship. Mm -hmm. It's just love won't be present. You won't have the capability to leave with it. Like like last night when you called us and nobody answered? I saw the, <laughs> I saw the love then. <laughs> wow, man. It's like 10 o'clock. Just want to say hi, guys. I was, <laughs> I was asleep. I got to wake up early. Whole team. Thank God I'm responsible. Are I you didn't okay? Need no, I didn't need no help. <laughs> <laughs> Trapped under the car. <laughs> please, please pick up the phone. No love. <laughs> no, and every one of them I know looked at that shit like... Yo, I was asleep. I didn't even hear that shit go out of here. I've always been there for my my girls. I mean, I'm, I mean, no names, but I would have people. Why call you had me to throw that too. in there? So, what are you saying about us? Word. I'm just saying, I don't. know. I mean, the obvious. We can't <laughs> stay the obvious. We can't sleep. Ain't no love in this motherfucker. Yeah. Huh? We can sleep. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying that I've you know been there for so those that call that to too. To I didn't fault to you. I didn't fault you at all. I feel like all, you are faulting us. You made like, us all I, about I'm you. Not. You said, no, 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 I, I'm always there for my girls. <laughs> like, there, was, there, was, there was a couple of words that she stressed out. I don't know about <laughs> Yeah, bro. Well, Reem, Reem's your friend anyway. Why ain't you call Josie? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I didn't get no call. <laughs> nah. What you talking about? I'm going to pick up head, the man. car. <laughs> I'm stuck on a goddamn car. That was fine. Why are you, why are you calling us first? Why aren't you calling 911? What do you think we're going to do? What did you need anyway at 10? None. You just wanted to talk. Are you guys, and it's, and it's, and it's nice that you can say that what? freely, that you wanted to just talk. No, I always answer his phone calls. I just had to wake up early. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wake up it's early. Not every time. I knew it was a stretch for him. I knew it was a stretch for him. Like, yeah, this nigga, we have like three Reem usually gets me. I'm usually up. But. I'm just saying that I've heard a lot of folks during this time or during any time or since COVID have gone through this, whatever the whole world is going through. But a lot of people are feeling kind of like stuck, alone, just like puzzled. Just, yeah. Yo, so during, during... I'm just saying, you're not alone. During the quarantine, no. we used to... And we stopped it. That night I was. Right? But we used to have a FaceTime call. That's right, yo. Every we were, Saturday. We were... And we used to be on the literally on the phone at like four in the morning. Wow. Like fifteen dudes on a FaceTime call. Mm -hmm. We're taking crib. shots together. Like good time. Those were a good time. So in the beginning we did the girls and you know, there were some guys on the call and we would do bingo for money. For like, you know, so we tried to we tried what was that? Virtual app? Cash app? No, we, we house party. <laughs> house party. We tried the house party app, but it was like We did I think it was Zoom and on Zoom there would be like a, a bingo card. Oh, okay. And then we will well, all be on. House Party, they actually had games built into the thing. It could have been House Party, but I remember, you know, I think it was Zoom. I'm not sure. Mm. I know there was a whole bunch of Google Duels and. Yeah. Look at the good memories of COVID. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the love COVID, COVID brought. So, Just love so if, you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you trace our, our podcast history, we got tired of Zoom real quick. Real quick. <laughs> I hated it from the, fr from the first job. day that we did. I was like, oh, I can't do this shit. I got to be around them. No. Nope. Didn't like yeah. it at all. But we did a couple. Yeah. Well, we do like three. Yeah, I think it was like three or four. We was like, Y'all better than me. It was a rough times, though. We made it through. Yeah. We did. We did. Right, Niggas still don't pick up. Niggas still don't <laughs> pick up. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I know. I'm like, <laughs> it was like, I think people really had the perception, like, 2021 hits. New start. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it gonna <laughs> be it's a, over. Like, it's going to be. COVID's gone. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. All right. It's a new strand too. It's never going away. They're just gonna stop talking about it. Right. Right. That was my question. I was about to ask you. Nah, yeah. Are we ever going back to no normal? Nah, but I like some of the. Protocols. I think I think there's gonna be a lot of people who are still once they once they say mask are not mandatory. There's gonna be a lot of people still wearing masks. I'd probably be one of them. 
they already got the glass up on the what's the name the in, in the restaurants and yeah, stuff like that. So, we'll be yeah, the point yeah. of taking it down. Might, Might as well just keep that up, right? That's a done deal, yeah. And but, they do that in China. They wear masks all the time. It's been the thing. You would wanna. It's so polluted. It's COVID out there. <laughs> and, well, not anymore. It's their lives. No, I'm just fucking. No, <laughs> no beef, China. I'm just fucking with you. I don't fuck with Donnie at all. Trump <laughs> is talking through Reem. Uh, oh, you're not, you're gonna, got him. Yeah, I got, got a whole, him. I got a whole Twitter. Right now. <laughs> AKA gonna, Donald. Trump. I'm gonna be in the next picture. Like <laughs> you're gonna hop the, you're gonna hop the, the wall next. Trump 2024. You're gonna hop that wall. You're gonna be like David. No. They said they're going after every person that was in Capitol Hill. It's the wrong time to lose that one. New administration coming in. Boot to ground. <laughs> Boot to ground. We can bring the military out to go get them. They destroyed Capitol Building. They have the military there now. But no they, they said the technology now underground of the U.S. Capitol Building is crazy, right? So they have some, and I don't know how true it is, but there was a dude on, you know, can't believe everything you see on the internet. But he was saying there's a mechanism or technology under the U.S. Capitol Building for cell service, mm. and so that it can triangulate. Even if you was in the area using Bluetooth, oh. and so it can get people. So they they know who, and so they can trace those things back to your cell phone company to get your name because it's the government to get your name and find out who you who was actually in the building because your Apple Watch, your cell phone. And who's gonna do that? The government's gonna oh, do the it. dude Joe Biden mission gonna hire two thousand people come in and investigate. Mm. They're already doing it. They're doing it right now. And you guys ain't that. worried about fucking. You niggas are crazy. Worried That's ninety. What you think? This is gonna be a super war? No, no, no. no, no. Are you wor- worried about technology? Yeah. Eagle Eye I, is a real thing. It's I, been around. I want that. You stormed the Capitol. I want to know exactly Since where HBO you were. came are. out in a satellite with the H and the B and the O, and we used to think my aunt was crazy because she says they're watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe in that though. <laughs> I, right now, Auntie, he's Auntie in there right. for forever. I know. Yeah, Auntie was right. Auntie right. <laughs> Auntie ain't tripping. He probably was looking at her like she was tripping. No, Auntie, you're tripping. It's just HBO. Yeah, we were little, so she probably turned the TV off. Us. I'm <laughs> trying to think about the movies. What shows Tales from the Crypt? Maybe I used to watch on HBO. Oh, that was, that was shit. Tales from the Crypt. HBO was the only channel, wasn't it? Well, nah, that nah, was you the had best Death channel Cinemax. for a while. You had the you had Cinemax show back when Atari Skinemax. was. Was I remember it was Skinamax. That yeah. was the shit. Y'all had that access? I didn't have that access. Those were good times. What's that? Skinamax? Yeah. Oh, Tell me man. more. Yeah, nah. nah. <laughs> no. I said enough. I've said it's, enough this episode. It's not raining. <laughs> you hit the 90. <laughs> I said it's enough. First fire stick. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do our honorable mentions. Yeah, good. So who's starting it off? That's I got to get mine. I got one. Uh, it's uh, Eric Thomas, his podcast, oh The God. Secret to Success. It's episode. You niggas in this bullshit. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So it was, I didn't. <laughs> motivational speaking. I don't know what happened. Alex don't like. He don't <laughs> believe in motivational speakers. Oh, I'm not. It wasn't because he's a motivational. It's a speaker. tricky job title for it me. Is, it is. Um, Speech therapist works a little better for this me. Is, Alex, this was more Conversations about. Conversations with Josie. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, this was more about the, we, I always say, the message rather than, sometimes you got to follow the message and not the man. Mm-hmm. Um, but this one was a, a episode 257 uh, for his podcast, but it, it uh, was about decisions, about making decisions. He said there is, what do you say? It wasn't even him that said it. It was uh, one of his hosts, because I think he, the podcast is hosted by other people. He just... He just be on it. But um, one of the things that he said was, uh, it's not the decision, it's the energy you put into the decision. So if you believe it's a bad decision, it's going to turn out bad. But if you just make a decision and then put positive energy into it, and then also decisions are not always bad because you learn from them. If they, if they, if the, whatever happens fails. Man. I like it. I'm with it. What was the name of uh Eric? The secret to success. Secret to success. I'm not paying for that. Uh, you don't have to advice. Pay. I'm not gonna pay for that advice. I didn't pay for it. I'm just was... telling you that he go. They do. They do tours, and okay. you pay for. I ain't mad at the hustle, bro. It's bullshit. 
<laughs> since we're on podcast, um, I actually, um, there is one, um, since we're on it, motivational stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but my, um, it's actually the movie. I'm not going to the motivation, but there is one level. Um, the School of Greatness by Lewis Howes. I don't know if you've heard of it, Mm-mm. but it's pretty good. So it's, he's been one of the pioneers of podcasts. Yep. And he's been on there for a while. So we'll talk about like thousands of episodes. Um, that's one to, you know, take a peek and, and, and get a gist of um, what we're doing. But anyway, yep. the other thing was actually the movie Soul. I don't know if you guys have seen I've it I've heard yet. about it. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And yeah, cool. I had to give it a shout out. My son and I watched it um, this weekend. Is that Disney Plus? Um, yeah. 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 It is on Disney Plus. <laughs> but it, it is on Disney Plus. Like, it, it, it is on yeah, Disney, Plus. Disney, Disney Plus. It was a, it was a smooth movie. <laughs> it yeah, I liked it. I mean, because it, it it allowed you to kind of take a peek at what you're doing. Cause was you not had like a cause snapshot? I, the beginning of it threw me off because I'm like, this is a cartoon. Yeah. Yeah, but cartoons are no. What I'm saying is, people fall down manholes all the time in cartoons. I'm not gonna tell the rest of the movie because you didn't see it. Have you seen it? Yeah. I loved it. My son loved it, and I didn't realize that he was paying attention to the characters. He says, I actually like this movie a lot, Mom. There's more characters that are black than there are white. All right, man. Good shout, bro. I was going to bring up The uh, Expanse on Amazon Prime about two seasons in. Sci-fi thriller, mad politics in uh, constant threat of war amongst three different uh, civilizations Mars, Earth, and the Belt. What's the name? The Expanse on Amazon Prime. Alex? I'm going to go. Um, I just listened to her album today, oh, a couple of days ago. Uh, Jasmine Sullivan. I heard good things about this. It's a very good album. Uh, it's, I don't know how to pronounce it. Hugh Tales? Hughes? H E A U X. Is that Hugh? Oh. Hotels. Hotels. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Ho, but I didn't. It didn't look like Ho. But Hotels, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a good album. Uh, it's like 32 minutes. Jasmine who? Jasmine Sullivan. Sullivan. She's not bust the window out your car, is she? Yep. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She be talking that shit. So what are you going through, Alex? You listen to Jasmine Sullivan, huh? I just have to. <laughs> I, see people, like, I see people talking about it, so I was like, ah, oh, let, me, let me listen. Anything resonate with you? No hey, hotels? Nah, no hotels for me. <laughs> <laughs> was it R and B or was it like? Oh, no, it's R and B. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The pod. The pod. Thank Still you going. again, Josie. Thank you guys for having me. Always a pleasure. Same here. Leave with love. love. Yes, absolutely. Leave with respect. <laughs> yeah. Leave with patience. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. communicate. Yeah, yeah. Leave all with that good shit. Communication skill. Yeah. Do all that shit. Fuck with us. You guys, you guys <laughs> miss David us. yet? Who? <laughs> Just like, <laughs> nah. Really getting comfortable. <laughs> but to see him in that goddamn Capitol building get hauled out. <laughs> <laughs> I know my rights. Come on, baby. You got me, David. <laughs> Cobb was over there like, Angela, they got us. She's like, <laughs> Not it? Nah, they got you. <laughs> <laughs> I was never in danger. <laughs> It's a revolution. <laughs> You're on the wrong side, Dave. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Oh man, that's funny shit. <laughs> Y'all know what to do. Like, like follow, comment, share, share. Fuck with us. Fuck with us. Mm-hmm. Episode one twenty. Subscribe six twenty seven. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Mm-hmm. This is David's job. I don't Thank, want to do. Thanks this. for Josie. <laughs> this is David's job. That's why you're David today. Yeah. Told you, Josie, my hubby. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> hubby. <laughs> That's a good oh, Peace out. Peace. Peace.